Well, I guess I'm captain now, and I don't like that. Just because I don't feel like I was taught well enough on how to be a good enough captain. Like, uh, like I'm still trying to digest the whole entire conversation I just had not too long ago. And now I'm thinking about and picking up the conversations. The old man said he only called the house because he didn't anticipate me picking up. Which now just makes me question, so does that mean he wasn't going to tell me he was in the hospital and wasn't going to tell me what the fuck was going on and I was supposed to just, just like stumble upon it and discuss it? Because he knows my cell phone number, he just never called me, he called the fucking house. Looking for his wife. Which he should already know is also in the hospital with him somewhere. But I'm here at the house with the Down Syndrome gal, me. And then the third person, how I keep thinking about it is, none of us have U.S. residency. All of us are, well, I'm at least a green card holder, Amy has nothing, the third person I know has nothing. This isn't our country, this is the country that we reside in. And I always keep thinking, as an American, I would have multiple plans, but as a Haitian living in America, I'm just like, well, what are my plans? Because without a green card or without any type of legal papers and all this and all that, and it's just that, like, there's really no legal plans I can think of to be able to execute a sustainable lifespan with the people that I have around me to be able to also keep up with the financial burdens of being able to live in a capitalistic society to make it fair enough. And you guys hear all this and you think, wow, this guy is smart. He should know what the fuck to do. Intelligence comes in different levels, ladies and gentlemen. I've always thought if this was the exact same situation stuck in Haiti for the fact that Abe and I would technically speaking be residents in both those countries. Well, in that country, not both those countries. We'd be residents there for me to go and find a job without having to worry about having to replace something by paying five hundred dollars for paperwork and waiting three to four months, which I don't have the time span. It'd be a lot easier for me to be able to find money and all this and all that. But for the fact that I'm currently going through this and that, it's like, what the fuck do I do aside from call for help? But like, who's help? What is help? And for the fact that I'm always coming from the standpoint where I've always been the help to others and others sometimes help me, it's just like. What can I do if I lack the financial means to be able to sustain, to sustain things? If I lack the consistency with work ethic to be able to keep the money? And if also money is always going to be an issue? Like, I don't know, I've always thought like the worst thing that they're going to do is just send us back, all of us. Or I don't know, maybe some jail or prison time. I don't really know how the system works. I just know they're like, hmm, poor people, how are we going to deal with that? Make them disappear. But I will give Amy a credit that she's uh, visibly disabled, so at least since she looks Down syndrome, I figured they're going to treat her better than they're going to treat me. Or at least that's why I hope, because I've always thought at least I'm cognitively aware to be able to get why they're treating me like that. But will she? Only time will tell what I do, but I don't really fucking know what to. Thank you for listening to the story of the downfall of me. I think it's slowly coming to an end. But only time will tell.